welcome to another yoga studio. I'm Kat for those of you who haven't uh, tried one of our videos before. So um, today we've got a 10 minute ish um, Pilates video which is all based around getting the hips moving and stretching. So we are going to just find a comfortable position to sit in for a moment, so wherever you are, you can kneel, you can sit cross legs, just close your eyes. Take some nice big breaths in, feeling the whole of the lungs expand. So breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So just taking three more breaths in. Finding a bit of focus, centering ourselves for our Pilates today. And then when you're ready, just open your eyes. And we're going to start in our tabletop position. So coming around to the knees and the hips, hands under the shoulders. We're going to take it into our cat stretch, just get the spine moving a little bit. So as you Breathe out, round up to cat. Breathe in, just dip the chest, little arch through the back, and then breathe out, round back up through the spine again. So see if maybe you can get just a little bit more movement through the back each time, so the tailbone tucks under, turns back up to the ceiling. And then shoulder blades slide away from each other and come back into the center. Pulling themselves into the middle of the spine. So we're just going to take that one more time. And then bring yourself back into the middle. Sit back just for a moment if you need to just shake your wrists or circle the wrists round and then we're going to come back into tabletop. So taking a little extended tabletop leg as you exhale, tuck the uh, right toes under, slide the foot behind you and lift. Breath in and then breathe out, bring the knee to the right elbow, push it back behind you. Breathe out, bring the knee into the centre. Breathe in, push it back. Breathe out, bring the knee to the left elbow. Breathe in, push it back and then take the right leg down. Swapping sides, so just gonna breathe out, slide the left leg away and lift. Breathe in, hold, and then breathe out to the left elbow, push it back. Breathe out, bring the left knee to the center, push it back. Breathe out, bring it to the right elbow, breathe in. Take the left leg back and then down towards the floor. So swapping sides again, slide the right leg behind you and lift. And then breathe out, bring it to the right elbow. Breathe out, bring the knee to the center. Keep holding that core and pull the belly into the spine. Breathe out to the left knee and back, take the right leg down. So we're gonna swap sides, breathe out, take the left leg back, lift, hold, and then breathe out, left knee to left elbow. Breathe out, left knee to center. And then breathe out to the right elbow. And then take it back. So we're going to go one more time, really warming our hips up, working with the core. So that is still pulled in, elbow to knee. Breathe out, right knee to centre. Breathe out, right knee to left elbow. Take the right leg down, swap sides. And we're going to breathe out, left knee to left elbow. Breathe out, left knee to centre. Breathe out, left knee to right elbow. And then take the left leg down, rock back. See if you can just find child's pose, get the wrists in a little, little circle out or shape if you need to. And then just rounding up through the spine, bring yourself round onto your back. So we're going to find our neutral or midpoint with the spine, just making sure we're not dipping or arching the back too much. And then when you're ready, 
Breathe out, pull the belly in again. So we're going to use those transverse abdominus muscles, taking the right foot up. And then breathe out, open the right knee out to the side. So working with that right hip, pull back into the centre. Glue that left leg, that left foot into the floor. Keep the rest of the body still. Just see how far that right leg will go. So the rest of the body is still engaged with the exercise, even though it's that right hip that's moving. We're going to go for two more. Last one, try not to let the body follow that right knee out to the side. And then take the right leg down. We're going to take the left heel and toes up, bring the left knee up over the hip. Breathe out, take the left leg out to the side. Breathe in, come back into the centre. So we're going to breathe that left knee out to the side. And again. See how far that left leg will move. Maybe we can go a little bit further each time. And then bring the left leg back in. Give yourself a little stretch out from fingers to toes. And then bending the knees bring the heels up just so then front of the hips into our shoulder bridge so working with the pelvic floor then this time we're going to breathe out pull up on the pelvic floor turn the tailbone up curling up through the back squeeze those glute muscles in use the muscles around the back of the hips support you there breathe in and then breathe out roll back down through the spine so keeping that sensation of the pelvic floor working, that's stopping yourself from using the loop feeling, curling up through the spine, glute muscles working again, breathe in, relax the shoulders into the floor, breathe out, roll back down. So we're going to take three more, breathe out, curl up, breathe out, curl back down, so two. And last one, breathe out, roll up through the spine. Breathe out, curl back down through the spine. Give your knees just a quick hug in towards the chest. Then we're going to plant the right, the left foot down on the floor. Bring the right shin over onto the left thigh. And as you breathe out, just try and hug the knees up towards you. Hold around the back of the left thigh. So the right hand's just threaded through the space. We're just taking a couple big breaths in here, stretching around the back of our right hip. And then releasing the legs down, swapping sides. So we've got the left shin then now, ankles free to the side, nice and safe. Breathing out as we bring the knees up towards us, supporting around the back of the right thigh and then we're going to release the let the feet back down towards the floor and roll around onto your right hand side. So we're going to bend the bottom knee, Let's take the arm out to cushion the head and then the hand then, the top hand can just go where it feels comfortable. Drawing in through the core, so we've got the belly working again. Take the top leg up and as you breathe out just make a little circle one way with that top leg. Breathe in, circle back the other way. So breathe out, circle one way. Breathe in, circle the other way. Breathe out, circle one way. Breathe in, circle the other. So we're going to do that two more times. One direction. 
back the other way and again. Press it. And then take that leg down, reach the arm over the top and just slide the foot away. Grab that top wrist and just give yourself a little stretch out through that side. And then we're going to bring ourselves around onto the other side. I'm just going to swatch, switch the microphone around. So again, cushion the head, bottom knees bent, just to give us a little bit of support, a bit of balance, drawing in through the core. We're going to take the top leg up. So breathe out, circle when we keep the foot flex, we're stretching out through the leg as we work. Breathe in, circle. Breathe out one way. Breathe in the other. So three more to go in each direction. So two. Try to keep the rest of the body as still as you can. And then last one each way. And again, just take that top leg down, let it rest towards the floor, reach the top arm over, give yourself a little stretch out through the side body. And then release it and bring yourself up to sitting. So we're going to lean back onto the hands, make sure the fingers are pointing the same way as the toes, the shoulders relax back, so we're lifting up the chest. Knees are bent in line with the hips, and as you breathe out, just let the knees roll one way. Breathe into the centre, let the knees roll the other way. Breathe into the centre. If you want to go a little bit more, we're going to stretch the top leg. So breathe out, stretch the knees away to the side and kip. Breathe out, roll the knees to the side, stretch through the top leg. You can even work with both legs if you want. So breathe out, knees to the side, reach the toes away. Breathe out, knees to the side. Stretch the toes away. It's just working into that can can move. So we're going to go for one more to either side. So roll the knees first, stretch through the outside of the hips and kick if you're kicking. Then roll the knees the other way, stretch through the toes, and then come back into the middle. Just bring the soles of the feet together. Give your knees a little float up and down. And then just holding on to the feet, let the feet roll away from each other. See if you can squeeze the knees a little bit out to the side, maybe dipping the chest a little way towards your toes. Keep on pressing the knees out to the sides of the mat. Don't worry about pushing them down, they want to reach outwards. And then release, push the knees back in towards each other. And we're going to come then round onto the knees. So if you want to give yourself a little padding into the knees, just folding the mat over. And then we're going to lift up to, um, in, onto the knees, coming into a little low lunge, just to stretch through the front of the hips. So the right leg's going to come out in front. Take a little dip down with the hips. So we've got the front knee over the ankle. And the back hips, just trying to drop in front of the back knee. Keep the hands on the hips. Roll the shoulders back a little bit to the chest. And then we're going to push back. Swap the knees over. So take the right knee into the right hip. Left leg's coming out in front. Same thing, drop forwards. And stay on the hips, keeping the chest lifted. What we don't want to do is lean forwards and put pressure on that front knee. And then come back into the middle. And we're going to come back to sitting. So either finding a diamond shape with the legs, or if you can sit cross-legged, we're going to bring the right um, foot in. And then the left foot in front, sitting tall, just twisting round to the right. I'm going to come into a little cross leg spine stretch with that twist. So as you bring out, breathe out, chin to chest, roll the head down towards the knee. Breathe in, sit yourself back up. 
So breathe out, chin to chest, roll forward, stretching through the left side of the body into the left hip. See how far you can bring your head through. Breathe in. Sit yourself back up. So again, we're just going to have three more. Keep your left hip glued towards the floor. So you go for two. And then one more. And then twist yourself back into the centre. Swap the feet over so we've got the left foot with the right foot in front. Sitting tall again, twisting towards the left this time. As you breathe out, chin to chest, roll down, press spine, stretch into the left knee. Breathe in, sit up. So breathe out, round forward. So this time keep the right hip glued down, stretching through the right lower back, the right um, hip. Breathe in, sit up. So we're going to go for two more. Up, coming back then into the middle, just bring your knees together. Give yourself a little hug at your knees. Just see if your head can come towards the knees. Holding around the backs of the thighs if you prefer. And then sit up tall. And there we go. You're done. That was our last quick little hip uh, workout for Pilates for today. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like for the video. Um, any comments or questions that you might have, please leave them below. And um, as ever, please try and subscribe to the channel so that you can keep up to date with all our videos. And I can then look forward to seeing you again on another day. Okay, thank you. Bye.